All right, guys, our next video in our Gray Man series, uh, we're in phase one. Our first video was talking about extensively uh, condition zero. Phase one ramps up the game a little bit more. In phase one, we have uh, possible flash mobs, Occupy Wall Street, um, some type of disturbances going on, some type of disturbances going on where the hostility or threat level has increased to the point where your safety is in question. Um, remember at the top of the page in video one, as the threat level increased, your gray man status uh, decreased and you became more uh, battle ready. So your stealth will be compromised to allow for more kit and firepower uh, beginning in phase one. Certain areas of the United States are in phase one at this time of this writing, uh, the author says. Particularly areas with high incidence of flash mobs. And he goes on to say, Occupy Wall Street protests gone bad. Oakland, California has one example. Racially motivated hate crimes. Phase one is generally limited to specific regions, townships, or events, but could spread far and wide quickly. Uh, this article describes a modern-day Phase 1 situation in which being a Phase 0 gray man might not be enough to save your life and limb from hostile agents. Your headgear, your upper body, your belt, and your lower body uh, remain the same as from Phase 1. You know, your unobtrusive ball cap, uh, no-name t-shirt, uh, worn out, um, no-name pants or shorts, a good leather belt. Um, however, they are recommending your foot gear be upgraded to a plain dark mid-length leather boot with a steel toe and comfortable foot inserts. The Phase 1 kit weapon system in Phase 1 environment. It's recommended that you carry a weapon system with higher capacity than your Phase 0 subcompact. You can accomplish this by using higher capacity magazines um, you know, in Phase 0, we talked about the Glock 26. Here they're talking about a Glock 19, 16-round capacity magazine. Um, and it's recommended that you have the initial 15 plus 1 rounds at your disposal. It's also recommended that you carry two 15-round backup magazines on your belt concealed by your untucked shirt. Front pants pocket, pepper spray for times that deadly force is not necessary or warranted. Your smartphone, no phase from, no change from phase zero. Uh, smartphones, the note here says, smartphones should not be considered a reliable means of communication beyond phase one due to inherent phase two infrastructure vulnerabilities and law enforcement agent network kill switches. That means they could shut phones off, guys. We saw this. Uh, recently, uh, when certain events happen, cell phone service is lost and shut down. Uh, the Boston Marathon, uh, I think, terrorist bombings is an example of that. The folding knife and flashlight recommended. No change from Phase 0. However, moving on from Phase 0, where backpacks really weren't recommended, Phase 1, they become more necessary to the gray man. They recommend a low-key civilian-looking style bag with a light to medium capacity like this Timbuktu messenger bag that's shown here in the picture. You know, you could research this when you go to the link. You, it has links to uh, where you can actually purchase this type of gear. Okay, so just an unobtrusive messenger bag. In that bag, they're recommending extra high-capacity pistol magazines for your Phase 1 weapon. Um, extra water, energy bars, rain gear, some socks, uh, some flashlight batteries or phone battery. Um, you know, they're saying, you know, you need the extra magazines in your uh, bag just in case. You could always download from a high capacity magazine from your bag and place in your primary weapon magazine. They're talking about like a 30 round magazine that's shown here in a Glock. 26. This brings us to the end of Phase 1 and on to Phase 2. 
From here on out, things get a little unconventional and bizarre. Uh, we would recommend that folks simply stay fortified in their homes and ride out any Phase 1 through 3 scenario. But that may not be possible in your situation. So listen, guys. They're saying, you know, if you can remain inside during a Phase 1 to 3 scenario, by all means do so. However, they have links here to the people in London, England during the 2011 summer riots or the people of Oakland during the recent Occupy Wall Street riots. And many in England were burned from their homes with no means of self-defense because of draconian police state gun laws. Okay? A definite Phase 2 scenario. Moving on to Phase 2. We got... In Phase 2 scenario, you have mass rioting, looting, and violent protests. Your ethos and apparel. Well, it says here, the crap has hit the fan, and the situation has retrograded into chaos. Welcome to Mad Max. Not quite, but almost. This phase discusses the Gray Man Directive as it pertains to Phase 2, or all-out flash mobs, rioting, and looting on a massive scale in major cities. During this phase, local, state, and federal governments have lost much of their control of the cities, leaving you in charge of your own destiny. In this phase, the gray man sacrifices little more stealth for a substantial upgrade in armor and kit. You're going to need it to defend your family and your property from hostile agents, ravenous zombie-like looters, and murdering home invaders. They're recommending that you upgrade your headgear um, from your ball cap to a protective helmet resembling a bicycle helmet. You know, and they give a sample of the helmet here to the untrained eye. It looks like a bicycle helmet, but it's stealthy enough in most, my, most situations to protect uh, your head. Um, and it will protect you from most blunt force trauma to the head, but not small arms fire. Upper body, they're recommending major ar armor upgrade. During a phase two scenario, level 3A body armor becomes a necessity. To give an example here in figure 12 uh, of some body armor, do not imagine for one second that you are the only person on the streets with a firearm during a without rule of law scenario. We also recommend you wear armor underneath your clothing as not to attract unwanted attention. You know, and guys, this is if you have to go out in this type of situation. Um, however, as you heard before, they recommend you stay inside if, for, if at all possible. Okay, they're recommending a flame-resistant long-sleeve shirt. Cotton shirt will not melt to your skin if you are forced to run through a Molotov cocktail. But the fancy wet wicking exercise shirt will likely become a fuse will become fused to your skin in a matter of seconds. So you're talking about like a, those dry fit type shirts that'll become fused to your skin. Your belt is no change, your pants no change, but avoid flammable materials. Foot gear no change. Here they give us a picture of a, a gray man in a level two scenario. Here he's got his helmet on. Uh, pretty much, a, you know, like a jacket or a, um, some type of pullover. His messenger bag. Um, and you can see he's got his boots, his knee pads. You can see his holster uh, coming from his, uh, showing from his jacket there. Um, knee protection. And he's wearing a Glock 19, it said. Most items from Phase 0 to 1 apply in Phase 2. Your weapon system, again, a Glock 19, 15 plus run magazine. For this phase, they recommend an outside the waistband holster with retention as you will need to be able to deploy your weapon quickly. And they give reasons uh, regarding that. Smartphone and communications, in a gray man, phase two and three scenario. Cellular communications are going to be degraded or denied. And then they go on to talk about government kill switches, where they could shut off the phones. We know about that. Um, 
Another likely reason, cell phone data communication is damaged, infrastructure incurred by civil unrest or rolling blackouts from a plant worker walkout. So, the cell phone won't be serving you too good in a phase two and three scenario. They're saying upgrade your knife to a fixed blade knife, hard anodized aluminum flashlight with spare batteries. Stick with the low-key civilian looking style bag. Uh, you will upgrade to a larger pack during phase three. Now phase three scenario guys is a nationwide rioting and looting type situation. Uh, probably the worst we could imagine. This is called the final phase in the Gray Man Directive. We now find ourselves in the midst of calamity during a full-blown social and economic collapse. Hyperinflation has run its course. The populace as a whole has devolved into animalistic behavior. Bands of rioters, looters, and bandits control the cities and roam the countryside. This is a SHT, SHTF scenario on steroids. As all-out rioting and looting in the nation, national continental scale, it's quite literally a war zone and phase three kit hopefully we'll never have to use it. go to it but the phase three kit they talk about uh, there's no credible governor government apparatus the phase three gray man has only limited control of how he is perceived your weapon system and firepower m4 carbine with 200 rounds and magazines glock 19 with 200 rounds in magazines there is no hiding now to the casual 200 meter observer, you may still look like a gray man, but anyone inside of 100 meters will know what you're all about. Communications. Mobile phones are down. Radio is the only means of rapid communications over long distances. Your backpack, messenger bag, is filled with essential supplies. Be ready to move at a moment's notice. In this phase, Molotov cocktails could be raining on your home and bullets might be flying in your direction. A tactical note, most modern vehicles offer no protection from small arms fire. You're better off on a motorcycle. And they talk about um, having a motorcycle for a bug out situation. It's much easier to get around a pile up in a motorcycle, not to mention obvious fuel economy advantages. Um, there they show you a motorcycle. Differences between a Phase 2 and Phase 3 Gray Man on the upgrade of firepower. The M4 carbine and more survival kit in the pack, as the photo shows uh, below. Phase 3 Gray Man strikes a balance between a commando and a normal dude in blue jeans. This appearance is a lot less threatening than someone dressed like a SWAT stormtrooper during a major collapse scenario. So there's our picture of the Gray Man in a Phase 3. The messenger bag, the, what he added here is the, um, the uh, AR-15 rifle. In summary, we don't feel we need to point out that the world is in turmoil. European countries are on the brink of collapse and the Western economies are not much better shape. The Occupy Whatever movement is growing in intensity and in some cases has developed into savagery. We assessed these Occupy-esque Type protests will continue well into 2012 and beyond, with the high probability of resulting in violent civil unrest. We recommend that you prepare and begin thinking about what gray phase you might find yourself in the coming years and what you can do to stave the impending onslaught of self-appointed have-nots. So guys, this is a, a what I thought was a great little overview on a gray man type scenario that evolved as the situation got worse. Um, I think it causes us, if anything, to think about these types of scenarios, to know that we're not totally 100% immune from them. Our system, our economy is very fragile. Our government seems to have run amok with scandals and outright spying on intimidating uh, 
law-abiding citizens of this country. Um, and with all that, we have enemies out there uh, all over that want to see us, uh, want to see our demise. And so with all that piling up, to the average per for the average person to just ignore and throw their hands up and say this will never happen here, guys, you you got to have your head examined really, uh, because after what we've just seen in in Boston, that small scale terrorist attack, uh, what if that became a Mumbai style attack, uh, and it was multiplied in many cities and towns across the nation, you know, and you're caught out there or you have to go out there um, into that type of situation. You need to be ready. You need to have a plan. And this is just one um, link that gives some good scenarios and a good layout of what to do and how to react and how to dress. And I thought it was important. I thought it made a lot of sense. Um, and it definitely, if anything, it gets you thinking. So let me know what you think about this uh information here from the survival think tank.com I thought it was very good uh, I put the links down below to this site and the uh, Road Warrior YouTube channel and again there's your gray man directive from phase zero to, to phase three and you go from being more stealthy and blending in in phase zero to less stealthy and more firepower in phase three okay Thanks for joining me, guys. Let me know what you think. Appreciate your, your input on this. And if you have anything you want to add or a video response, please, by all means, uh, let's do it. Remember, stay ready and stay strong. This is Anthony signing off. God bless and take care.